So yesterday I made a video uh, from this book right here, Mississippi Black Papers, 57 Negro and White Citizens Testimonies of Police Brutality and the Breakdown of Law and Order and Corruption of the Justice in Mississippi. Stories after stories of trials and tribulations of black people, straight out assaults from Southern whites in the police force in Mississippi. Now, I told you guys on chroniclingamerica.net, when you go up and you look up words like lynchings, uh, Negro burned at stake, black man lynched, innocent Negro burned alive, innocent Negro lynched, uh, Negro woman lynched, Negro town burned down. The amount of results you'll find are absolutely shocking and disgusting, and this goes and entails farther onto what I was saying, that the numbers of black people that were killed, lynched, and unjustifiably imprisoned or murdered or assaulted have been completely downplayed over the last 100 years. Let's start out with this article right here. Negro burned at stake. A mob of 6,000 people, persons, burned Ted Smith, a Negro on the public square here Tuesday morning. The Negro attacked a white girl, Miss Viola Delancey, near her home, three miles west of Greenville the day before. Not a day in court, not one day in court, not one minute where he could justify himself or um, go through the court of law to get his day in court to prove his innocence. She said he did it and he was immediately lynched. Oh, there's so many. I got folders after folders. I got like at least over at least 400 images like this on my phone just from the newspaper archives, not to mention the books that I got that go through the same thing. Innocent Negro lynched. Another confesses he killed white in dispute over rent. Greenville, Georgia, August 27th. And innocent, uh, the innocence of Virgie Swan, a Negro lynched near here on Monday as the murderer of L.C. Marchman, a wealthy planter, was proved today when Walter Brewster, another Negro, was arrested and confessed that he killed Marchman in a dispute about rent. Uh, and go look up stories on this uh, on this website about the sharecroppers and about during the 1930s, 20s, 40s, how insane the renting policies were, how unfair Negroes were being treated. They were told that if you work up for these sharecroppers, you would get a place to stay, you would get rent off, you would get cheap living. And when their deals were done or when the things were actually came to fruition, they backhanded them and they said, you're not getting any money, you're not getting this rent prices were jacked extremely high for black people in black communities while in the counterparts they were very low we know this an innocent man was lynched you'll find lots of articles like this as well negro massacre interesting two negroes burned to a crisp i'm going to show you another article soon where there's an article talking about shame on America, the only nation in the world that's still burning people at the stake in this modern day. American white Southerners were still the only ones burning people at the stake in the 1900s. This is not even 100 years old, 100 years ago. Innocent Negro lynched in Clarksdale, Mississippi. 1925, a Negro lynched in Clarksdale for a crime which he did not commit, and now another Negro is to be executed for the same crime for which the victim of the mob died as a result of the action of the Supreme Court affirming the case of the state against John Fisher. Hmm. Good old Arkansas. Negro burned at stake. Little Rock, Arkansas, February 19th. Negro question. An innocent Negro was lynched at Eastman, Georgia for an alleged assault on Miss Susie Johnson, a teacher. Now, another article I'm going to get to. Don't worry, I'm going to get to them. I got a lot of time left. Uh, there's an article written by a white woman herself from the North saying that most of these allegations that black people were just running out here crazy, assaulting white women, are completely false. Uh, they, don't, they don't go as far, but I know many in the black community will question how many of these white women were actually sneaking off and sleeping with these black men later on just to get caught or to avoid getting caught, say they were getting sexually assaulted and throwing the black man under the bus. Uh, this was a no-no from the book I read yesterday. Uh, you remember what one of the guy's stories was when he was talking to the white clerk in the police office after he was just arrested for something he didn't do. What did the police officer say to him? Don't look at the white woman in the face while you're talking. Don't look at her while you're talking. 
H. Blackburn, a Negro innocent, was lynched at the corner of 6th and Main Street. The lynching is the latest link in a chain of clashes between whites and blacks, which started on September 2nd when a white man named R. R. McDonald McDonald killed a Negro musician named Willie uh, Shelby. Now, this is another thing you're going to see a lot of. Uh, When black people would come together after they would kill an innocent black person, the National Guard was immediately called in and they were over-policed because they were pretty much saying, you're going to let us do whatever you want to us, and you better not say anything about it. The Negro Massacre at Atlanta. Little is lacking now of the demonstrating injustice towards the Negro of the white people who administer affairs in Atlanta. They make loud professions, but their ignoble action speaks louder than their smooth words. A local newspaper, by false reports of a Negro outrages upon white women, stirred up a murderous white mob. Let me go back to my uh, my second folder. I have I've had to make two folders on this, but we're gonna go and see the Shame on the America article and the article where the lady talks about how there's no way that all these black people are committing assaults on white women, and that this is just a this is just a forefront. This is just something they use to justify themselves and attacking Negroes in the South and in the North too. They like to say it happened in the North, but it happened in the North. I have some from New York, Pennsylvania. Let's go see some more. Another innocent Negro killed by a white mob. Temple, Texas. Negro burned at stake while women and children look on. Uh, you, um, TikTok won't allow me to post up a video that I made on an article I found that was in particular uh, very, very, very upsetting. It was called uh, The Border Ruffians. The title of the article is called The Border Ruffians where it talked about the, a Negro getting burned at the stake and thousands of people coming to watch and look, women and children cheering as the man burned alive, as his skin fell off of him, as his skin was being burned off, and as he was hung and his body was being, after after all that, after all that, the article stated that they, the, uh, the charred bo- uh, bones were being left there in a pile, that many of the white onlookers took the bones home as souvenirs. And then later, right after that article, there was an article where it talked about the superior race and it talked about how blacks, Latinos, Asians are below the white man and that all the blacks and all the Latinos are all savages. <laughs> you can't make it up. And for some reason, TikTok, I've tried to upload it over 10 times. TikTok will not let me upload it. I'm not saying anything derogatory. I'm not calling people names. I'm just reading an article. And for some reason, it always gets shadow banned. They let me upload it, but it'll sit there for weeks on end with zero views, zero plays, zero likes, shadow banned. You'll see a lot of articles like this too that go through the supposed accurate numbers they have on their all documented lynchings. But other articles will claim that a lot of lynchings go undocumented and a lot of lynchings don't go unreported at all because some of the the mobs don't want to be have face any recompense so a lot of these down south lynchings happen in the backwoods and they never get found out the bodies get disposed of but um great record for year 70 lynchings in 1909 with georgia leading the procession and it goes down the list of this some of the people that were lynched here Here's another article where it goes on to that. September 1931, Birmingham, Alabama, Willie Peterson, unemployed and a tub- uh, tubular Negro veteran, arrested and framed up uh, on framed up murder charges of two white society women. Terror wave rises higher in Alabama. List of known lynchings for September includes, uh, let's see, Landrum Lewis, Negro killed in church by officers at Sh- uh, Shreveport, Al- uh, Louisiana. Uh, let's see, Landrum Lewis, Negro killed in church by officers. Um, Richard and Charlie spoke. Negroes taken from jail and lynched at Blumstown, uh, Florida. Clyde Payne, Negro husband of Viola Payne, murdered by boss because he tried to protect his wife from an assault. Bill Fane, Negro lynched by a mob of wealthy merchants and uh, planters at Little Rock, Arkansas because he refused to do forced labor. In addition, a boss enticed the mob to uh, and tried to lynch him. Uh, let's go down. Uh, there's one here that was particularly horrible about a little 13 year old girl named Ethel who was uh, lynched because she resisted rape or getting sexually assaulted, resisted sexual assault. So the 13 year old girl was uh, lynched. I'll make a part two of this, but there's a, there, I've, I got so much more. I got so much more. This is bad, but it needs to be brought out. Your ancestor stories need to be told.